Hello and welcome to part 42 of Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. In the last part we started the Elite Four, took out two of them, did a great job, massive success, everybody loves us. So now we have to take out the two remaining members. Now, I shouldn't have to say this, but I did obviously heal all my Pokemon, I think. I healed most of them. I healed all the one I needed before this battle, but I'm not going to leave that in. That's pretty boring. So the first battle we're going to be doing in this part is against Flint. So you should remember Flint from um, right before the 8th place city. And he was actually like, hey, you should cheer someone up, I guess. And we did, and he was very happy about that. So... Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what Pokemon he has. His speciality is Fire-type, but the crazy thing is, only two out of his five Pokemon are Fire-type. As you can see, we're fighting Rapidash at the moment, so obviously I'm going to start with Hot first, my Water-type, and the one thing Rapidash is going to do to you that can kind of mess you up is use Sunny Day. Now, the reason why that's a bad thing is because it means that I think Fire attacks are stronger, or something, something like that, but I know the one thing it means is that Pokemon can use Solar Beam straight away without having to charge up for a turn first, so obviously you're going to want to look out for that, so that's, it's kind of annoying that attack, so yeah, Rapidash is Fire type, so I just used my Water type, Hot Fuzz, I probably could have used um, Fish Demon, but I decided to keep it simple and go with um, Hot Fuzz. So next Pokemon he sends out is actually Infernape, which is his strongest Pokemon. Like I've already said it so many times that yeah, so many times that like they will normally send if you do well against their first Pokemon, they will send out their second Pokemon or their strongest one as their second Pokemon and this has happened so many times I can't even count. And it's happened here. So I went with um Bigger Bird, because it's flying type, and Infernape, as you should know, is fire slash fighting, so I didn't really want to risk having Hot Fuzz out, because I think Hot Fuzz is weak to fighting or something, I can't really remember, it was quite a long time ago now. So I decided to just go for Bigger Bird, keep it safe, Bigger Bird has a strong attack, so I managed to take out Infernape with not too much trouble. So perhaps his two fire type Pokemon gone. This is not a hard battle, people, it's pretty simple. So yeah. Because you should have a water type by now, and you should have a water type for Rapidash. Rapidash? <laughs> Rabidash? That's not a Pokemon. Um, yeah, you can use that same water type against Steelix here. Which is kind of cool, which is kind of handy. And Steelix goes down straight away, <laughs> because Steelix is not that good against water types, as you should already know. So that's pretty much... <laughs> we're pretty much on the home stretch now, that's three of his Pokemon done. So I'm going to send out Gandhi to fight Loompunny. <laughs> or low punny, which is... what type is it again? It's normal type, so yeah, obviously fighting type is going to be super effective against normal type. You may already know this, but the trick to Elite Four battles is knowing what you're doing. That's pretty much it. And type matching is so important against the Elite Four, you really do need to know what types you're going up against, because especially in this generation where there's so many half-breeds or you know, half muggles, as we like to call them, the Harry Potter fan club. That there's, you need to know these things, you know, just so you can exploit weaknesses and stuff like that. So it goes with Drifblim, which is um, a ghost slash flying type. Yeah. So knowing that, I can just use Plug Switch, and I can just use Thunder attacks or Electric attacks, as they're formerly known. All my attacks begin with Thunder, so I think it's okay to say Thunder attacks. It's a new thing, everyone's saying it, but... Yeah, Drifblin is actually in the 5th um, gen Elite Four as well, and I had a lot of trouble with it then, and I had quite a bit of trouble with it now. Not that much trouble, because I was using Plug Switch, so obviously my attacks were going to be super effective, but... Yeah, Drifblin can... that's probably the one that's going to give you the most trouble, unless you don't have a water type, and then you're pretty much screwed for this whole fight, but... With Drifblin down, we... we defeat him. It... that's... he's easily the easiest of the Elite Four in this game, which is kind of weird, having the third trainer being the easiest, but yeah, and he makes a fire pun, and off we go. <laughs> of course he had to make a fire pun, you know, it's, it's a Pokemon game, he has to make a fu like some sort of pun, like if it was a water person, they'll say, oh, I'm splashed out, or something hilarious that that, that everyone likes. So here's, or we're already here, the final member of the Elite Four. Um, speciality is psychic type which 
if you know anything about Pokemon, you know that's going to be annoying. Unless you have some sort of ghost Pokemon, or I believe Dark is super effective as well. Um, yeah, a Dark type. Because it turns out every single one of her Pokemon is Psychic type. Unlike Flint, I think that was his name, I already forgotten, I don't care about that guy. He can fall down a mine shard for all I care. But yeah, as long as you have some sort of ghost Pokemon or dark Pokemon, you will be super effective against, I think, every single one of her types. Um, maybe not every single one, but yeah, she is definitely the hardest one out of the Elite Four, like easily, really. So I started off with Gandhi using Shadow Ball because I knew that Gandhi special attack isn't that great but I would still like to use Shadow Ball because I know it is super effective so it'll do a decent amount but I won't do an amazing amount so I still I thought it was the best idea to get Gandhi out of the way and just take out her first Pokemon just so Gandhi actually does something and it saves my other Pokemon because I don't really have any more effective moves against Psychic type so I need my strong Pokemon at full force, really, so that's why Gandhi went out first. And let's see, what am I doing? What's going on? Am I going to switch? I don't know. I'm just delaying. There we go. Yes, switch out Gandhi for Frosty Bush to fight uh, this Pokemon, the Chain Chomp Pokemon. Um, I didn't really have that much of a strategy here because it's kind of hard to have a strategy, but against psychic types with with the squad I have it's hard to have a strategy against psychic types so you really need to go for their other type so here this is not just psychic type it's also normal type so gotta use something good against normal types that's just common sense though as you can clearly see I haven't and I've actually gone for um, Frosty Bush the main reason I'm not sure if I mentioned this already this is like the third time I've tried to record kind of hard to be in a house and to have to do stuff and have to record for my LPs. That's why I'm out of breath running upstairs. Jesus. But yeah, that Pokemon's now gone, but with Frosty Bush out, Frosty Bush is a bit of a tank, sort of. You know, it comes out, it doesn't actually have ingrain anymore, so it can't heal itself, but yeah, it will slowly wear, it does have quite a lot of XP and it will wear Pokemon down. And Blizzard, with Icicle Plate, Blizzard is actually a really good attack, so that's something to be aware of. But that other Pokemon's gone, and now we have Bronzong, which is actually, I caught a Bronzong, called it Song Bron, which I thought was quite funny. And it's actually her strongest Pokemon, and yeah, it was, yeah, Bronzong was almost in my team, but then I went for Fish Demon instead, so. And it's actually still Slash type, Psychic type, so that's something to consider. You know, Fire Fighting Rock? Is it Rock? Yeah, so if you have a Fire type Pokemon, I definitely recommend using it here. As you well know, I don't have a fire type Pokemon, so I thought I'd stay the course and see how much damage I can do with Frosty Bush against Bronzong for Frosty Bush's inevitable death. <laughs> there was no way it was going to take it out, but I thought I'd give it a good go. And as you can see, it knows Earthquake, which usually would take out so many Pokemon. There's so many Pokemon, it would have just killed that Earthquake. But Frosty Bush took it like a champ, it took it like a number one team player. So I decided, screw it, Frosty Bush isn't going to live for the next turn. I might as well see how much damage I can do to this Pokemon. So I used Wood Hammer and got hit and recoil. But amazingly, it didn't die. It still has one HP left. It only took nine health in recoil, which is amazing. It really didn't really help me out at all. But, I mean, go Frosty Bush. Definitely number one co-worker, definitely. So, so with Frosty Bush dead, I'm now going to need another Pokemon. I've lost two Pokemon. No, I've lost one Pokemon, and there, she's lost two, so that's, you know. She only has five Pokemon. I think all Elite Four members do only have five Pokemon. Yeah, I'm looking at it here, and they do only have five Pokemon. So I am I just sent out Gandhi, because Gandhi was kind of weak, but because it was, I was kind of hoping that I could kind of wear it down, because it already used its berry. But oh, unfortunately for me, High Jump Kick just missed. Missed. It just missed. It might have even taken it out, because this it, Bronzong is still type, so maybe it would have done like a load of damage and taken it out. Who's to say, really? Apart from those Pokemon mass guys, whoever they are. So, we're Gandhi dead because it couldn't hit its target and it hurt itself and then it died. Sent out Fish Demon uh, to use Fire Blast. 
Fish Demon special attack isn't really that great, but its normal att its normal attack is definitely better. But I was kind of hoping that Fire Blast would take out anyway, which it didn't. It like wore it down to like one health, so unfortunately Fish Demon had to take a Psychic, and I actually luckily got the the burn on it, which again didn't matter because of the hail that was going to hit it anyway. So the fact that I got the burn was really lucky, but pointless, completely pointless. <laughs> It would have been nice if I got the critical hit, because then Fish Demon wouldn't have had to take that sidekick, so that would have been nice, but... Yeah, Bronzong's now dead, which is technically a strongest Pokemon, although I would say it's not. And you're going to see what I think the strongest Pokemon is after I defeat this Medicham. So Medicham will see Fighting Type, Fighting Psychic Type, so I'm going to go with Bigger Bird, because Bigger Bird is super strong and badass, and can do badass attacks, and that's what we need in a Pokemon. Badassery. Which is totally a word. It's a word. So, yeah, obviously I'm going to use Fly. That's a strong, um, bigger bird's strongest attack. I don't think I need to explain why I need to use Fly. But the Hail is still going, which is kind of useful. It never comes in mega useful. It's just kind of nice to have, because I know my squad's going to be able to take that Hail a lot better than her squad, because she's limited in terms of items. But bigger bird comes flying down and does a magnificent hit on Medicham. It's all very spectacular and wonderful. So that we're, that's Medicham done. So she now only has one Pokemon left. If you can do five minus four, that's one. Um, and that Pokemon is the infamous, the always annoying, Alakazam. So I wasn't too sure what to do. I was like, crap, do not want to fight this. Do not want to fight an Alakazam. So I decided to go with Plug Switch. Probably should have gone with or stop with Bigger Bird at this point because Alakazam, this Pokemon has really good special defense if I remember correctly. I think it does anyway. I know it has great speed, but it has fantastic speed. But yeah, I think it does have really good thingy as well. But I went with Plug Switch. The main reason I did go with Plug Switch is because it knew Crunch, which is a dark type move which I used on Alakazam and it did a ton of damage, just so much damage. I was just over the flipping moon, it was just wonderful. But Plug Switch is taking a lot of hits and I was kind of getting a bit worried because yeah, she hadn't used a full restore yet so I kind of saw this one coming so I decided to just go for another crunch and hope for like maybe a critical hit. I don't think I've got any critical hits yet in this battle but if I manage, well, if I manage to do enough damage that the hail would then take it out, then I would have won. But unfortunately for me, I—it's got so little health. It's got like one HP, so that's kind of annoying. So Alakazam goes with recover, and I think I do another one at a stupid, a classic Honest Tom 23 move, which is. Oh no, I actually didn't. Usually in these situations, what I would do is actually use a weaker attack to save my stronger attack or my, the PP for my stronger attack so I don't actually take it out because they heal. But it turns out that even though he used Recover there was no way Alakazam was going to heal back to full health so pl yeah Plug Switch used Crunch and took out her last Pokemon which I could have easily had a lot more trouble with. It was really lucky I saved Plug Switch till the end to use Crunch because yeah that really could have gone the other way if Plug Switch wasn't around or if Plug Switch got taken out in one from a critical hit or just something like that, you know. There's a you know, huge number of things that could have gone wrong. Oh, uh, yes, even though she does have five Pokemon and I did taunt you for saying five take four equals one, if you remember she did actually switch out her one of her Pokemon and well, switched out this Pokemon for Bronzong, I think. But with this Pokemon's out, Plug Switch can just use Crunch, and I win, which is wonderful, which is fantastic. So yeah, that's all. Uh, if you can count to four, that's all the Elite Four done. So in the next part, we will be doing something else. That's all very mysterious and uh, mysterious. Yeah. So I've been Honest One Twenty Three, and I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.